Welcome back, folks. In this video, we're going to uh, sort of top in a time machine, travel back a little ways, and we're going to redo some of those builder patterns that we learned in the previous chapter. But this time, we're going to do them uh, with some of the new derivation techniques that we've learned so we can sort of unsimplify things a little bit, just sort of put together all the knowledge that we've learned so far. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm here in table derivation.xlsx, and I'm in the so far sum x uh, tab worksheet. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run these simple builder patterns. And remember, a builder pattern is any derivation inside of an iterator, right? And we're just going to uh, see how it goes. But unlike before, where we had those handy buttons that would allow us to change the filter context, now we're going to challenge the filter context by just dragging these temp tables in, which isn't perfectly accurate to how it gets done in, in DAX. DAX is going to use code to do it, uh, but it's closer, right? We're, we're building up to the next chapter where we're going to do it using the calculate function and measures. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and run this builder pattern. We're going to drive this temp table, add this expression column to it, and sum up the results. But before we do, we have to get the filters just right. So let's go ahead and revise the filters first. We're going to add a filter for shift equals dinner. So go ahead, select those cells right there, and drag this right up here. Drop it right above shift. Okay. And since this is a respectful derivation, it's our physical table derivation where we ask for the table by name, right? We're going to go ahead and uh, filter down this physical table in the data model. So it looks the way that it does to that derivation. So we're just looking at dinner. So go ahead and uncheck lunch. Go ahead, hit OK. OK. So those are the visible rows. So this derivation asks for all the visible rows in the mini table given the current filter context, which has a filter for shift equals dinner. Cool. Let's go ahead and select those cells right there. Control C to copy. Click under the uh, little area where it says drop temp table just below. Click right there, top left corner. Go ahead and do Control Alt V to pay special. And we're going to paste the values and number formats and hit OK. And cool. So we've gone ahead and derived the table. And for expediency's sake, uh, I've actually already done the first cell in the expression column for you, right? So what is the definition for this cell right here? Well, it's going to be for every single row, take the units and multiply it by the price per. So 2 times 9 is 18. So let's go ahead and grab this formula and drag it down. And we get 11, which is 1 times 11, and 14, which is 2 times 7. So that's our expression column that we've added to our temp table, right? Now what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna sum it up because we're using the sum x function. So I'm gonna click here where it says hours, type in equals sum, open parentheses, go ahead and select the values or the cells, the range of that expression column, close parentheses and hit enter. And we get 43 bucks, which corresponds to our total dinner sales. Okay, let's go run the same DAX code right here. But before we do, we're gonna revise the filter so that we're looking at lunch as opposed to dinner. Okay, so let's do that. Go ahead and select these cells. Now we already have a filter for shift equals dinner. So when we revise with this temp table, we're going to replace that existing filter with a new one. So let's grab these cells and drag them right on top of shift equals dinner. Let go. Hey, it says there's already data here. Do you want to replace it? We certainly do. Go ahead and hit OK. And now our filter context has a filter for shift equals lunch. Since we're about to do a respectful derivation, this physical table derivation where we ask for a table by name in the data model. There it is, mini right there, and there's mini right there. Well, then we need to uh, change the way this uh, physical table looks to respect the filter context, because it's a respectful derivation. So here where it says uh, shift, and you've got the little filter icon, click on that. We're going to change this from dinner to lunch, and go ahead, hit OK. And this is the way uh, this table looks to that derivation right there. OK, so we're going to go ahead and drive all the visible rows in mini, Given the current filter context for the filter for shift equals lunch, select those cells, grab them, control C, control C, come on, there we go. Click right underneath the D where it says drop temp table below, control Alt V to paste special, click on values and number formats, click OK, and we've got our temp table, we've derived our temp table. The iterator is then going to add this column to it and sum up the results. And I've even already done the first cell for you just to save us some time. So for the first cell, it takes 2 times 7, which is 14. Let's go ahead and click on that cell and drag that formula down. For the second row, we get 1 times 9, which is 9. For the third row, we get 1 times 7, which is 7. And for the very last row, we get 3 times 9, which is 27, right? So that is uh, this expression evaluated for every single row to give us our expression column. So what are we going to do with it? Well, this is the sum x function, so it's going to sum it up. If we wanted to average those numbers, we should have used the average x function. Just click here where it says hours. Go ahead and do equals. Type in sum, either double click on it or hit tab, right? And we want to select those cells right there, add closing parentheses and hit enter. And we get 57 bucks. 
So even though we run the same code, because we revise the filters each time to be looking at different uh, subsets of the data, up here we were looking at dinner, down here we're looking at lunch, we get uh, different calculations, $43 in lunch sales, I'm sorry, $43 in dinner sales and $57 in lunch sales, which is what we're looking at right now. Okay, so uh, now we're going to revise the filters one more time and do one more builder pattern, okay? So we don't yet have a filter for type, right? So this filter isn't going to replace any existing filters. We're just gonna add it. So go ahead and select these cells, drag it up here. Uh, I'm gonna put it not right here, but right here. I kind of would like to put it over type, but I don't want these right next to each other. So I'm gonna drop it right there, let go. Okay, and we're about to do one of our respectful derivations. Now it's not the physical table derivation where you just ask for a table by name. It's where you use the values function to reference or point at a particular column, which is one of our respectful derivations. So this derivation is going to respect the filter. So we need to add that filter down here. So we've got a filter for type equals to go. We've already got the one for uh, lunch handled. So here under type, click on this, uncheck dine in and click okay. And this is the way the physical data model, physical table in the data model looks to this derivation right there. Okay, so what does this derivation want? It wants all of the distinct visible values in the dish column of the mini table, right? Well, uh, if we see here, there's dish right there and it's got pasta, burger, and burger. I already know this is just gonna have pasta and burger. That duplicate value is gonna get dropped. But let's go ahead and go through the process. So select that cell to that cell. Be sure and get dish, be sure and get the header. Control C to copy. Click right underneath the D and drop to temp table below. Control Alt V to paste special. Let's paste values in number format. So either click on it or hit U and hit OK. All right. And so we get uh, that right there, but we're not done. We have to remove the duplicates. So make sure those cells are selected. Head up to data and do remove duplicates. Uh, it says, do you want to expand the selection? We're going to continue with the current selection. So don't make sure this is unchecked. Go ahead and remove duplicates and go ahead, hit OK. And it goes ahead and removes that duplicate burger. So these are all the distinct values in the dish column of the mini table right now, given those filters right there. So we're gonna add, we're gonna take that temp table and add this expression column to it. Hey, I've already started it for you, right? So we're gonna click right there, right? And we're going to uh, drag that formula down. Now, frankly, Brian made a boo-boo. See how there's a dollar sign right there? We want to uh, get rid of that dollar sign. So go ahead to do that quickly, a little Excel fun here. Go ahead and hold down Control and Shift and hit the one button, right? And there we go, close enough. We got rid of the dollar sign. Okay, so we get one for the first row and one for the second row. We evaluate that expression for every single row. So we get one and one. And what are we going to do with the results? We're going to sum them up. So click right here where it says hours. Do equal sign, sum and select those right there. Oops, I made a boo-boo equal sign. I can't excel today apparently. Sum, I'm gonna double click on sum, select those cells, closing parentheses, and hit enter. And we get two, which is the total number of distinct dishes that we sold for to-go sales at lunch. Okay, so uh, that is how we go ahead and do our builder patterns using both derivations and iterators. Right? In a little while, we'll show you how to do um, revisions a bit more formally. So with that, we're going to jump on to the next video where we look at basically the same thing, but we're going to use the uh, filter iterator instead.